What's up? What's good? We are back with another Daquan Wiltshire Dragon Ball Super episodes. Uh, you heard the S? It's plural. 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 Uh, I don't know. My fault if I'm kind of hyped. I was, I got done watching some Dashy. So, like, it's kind of like his energy like, affects you. If y'all know who that is. Bruh. Come on now. But well, we're not talking about Dashy. No disrespect. We talking about the homie Daquan Wiltshire, and this man's crazy ass takes on these Dragon Ball episodes. We got a long way to go, and then we still got to do the motherfucking like Infinity War stuff. That whatever. I see. I know the comment. I know who left them. I know what you want me to do, and I'm on it. I'm gonna get it done. This is gonna take some time because I'm sick as hell right now too. I have no smell or taste, which is kind of scaring me, but. That's beside the point. I dragged this intro out long enough. Without further ado, let's fucking get it. All right, first things first. I want to thank everybody for being so patient with me for these Dragon Ball Z Facts. Interviews. I'm sorry. I've just been super busy. Facts. But now it's time to catch up. Let's start off with episode 106. I don't really have that much to say about episode 106. Aside from the fact that if I can regenerate my limbs like Piccolo, I'd be giving myself a stranger every night. Other than oh, that, yeah. Other than that. Other... Other than that, what the fuck, nigga? Other than that, Tien got knocked off, and some genetically mutated piece of gum was reflecting his partner's energy and sniping people. Dang. Episode 106 wasn't really that interesting. But 107, though? Okay, first it's off, why did everybody keep jumping in front of Jiren like he can't handle himself? Bro, I can shit. see if he was a whole bitch and a half, like, <clears throat> Well, he's supposed to be the strongest person in this tournament. I know he can handle himself. Yeah. But then not everybody to jump in. It had to be Dispo. Like, my nigga, didn't you just get your ass whooped? By hit, bro, you're supposed to be on the sideline recovering, but instead, if you want to jump in some shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. Plus, look at Jaren. All he did was open his eyes. You and Topo over there acting like bitches. You can already tell Jaren knew that if shit got real, which it did. Bro, let me tell you something. Low key, Jaren, one of the hardest, hardest villains, bro. I fuck with Jaren, bro. Like, Jaren, hard. Like, you can't, you can't argue that, bro. Jaren, like, he was literally sitting there meditating damn near that whole fucking tournament until he realized Goku, like, got into his shit like until Goku tapped into his shit that man was just chilling meditating wasn't worried about a fucking thing hey Jaren Jaren Cole he was just gonna hit a nigga with that Facts. get him the fuck up out of here real quick this one punch shot everybody and the look on Goku's face told it all it was at this moment that he knew he, he fucked up. He damn sure wasn't looking as excited as he was when he first met him. And even Facts. then, he knew he was nothing to be fucked with. But anyways, on to more important matters. I'm so happy that Vegeta didn't get eliminated. Oh, yeah. Because I probably would have stopped watching the show. Yeah. Dog, when Frost put Vegeta in the Mafuba, I was like... Bitch, bitch, bitch. Dog, that's my favorite part. <laughs> bro, that's why, bro, if y'all don't know, if y'all ain't subscribed to this man... Please subscribe to this man. This man does live streams. He does content. He does, bro. He does so much shit, bro. He's doing a live stream again tonight for that whole EDP situation. We gonna put him in a backwood too. You already know. But let's keep it going with this. So this whole episode was when Frost threw an energy blast at Vegeta, and Vegeta blocked that shit like it was nothing, and just looked at him like, "Nigga, what the fuck do you want?" Man, that's the same look my mom used to give me at the grocery store Yo. every time she would tell me to put something back. So yep. afterwards, Master Roshi breaks Vegeta out the I feel that. Vegeta goes on a rampage. Frost disappears, and blah blah. Nigga, episode 108 was the shit. Now aside from all the talk going go. on, this episode had more action than it did go. in hard extortion videos. This was the oh. first time I seen <laughs> Gohan following his father's footsteps oh, yeah. since the Cell Saga. And by following his father's footsteps, I mean getting fucked up. So Gohan's over here getting crushed by one of the yard rats. That y'all gonna catch, y'all gonna realize that. Like I, I'll be ready to agree on shit, but then I'll be hearing, I'll be like, yeah, I for, yeah, Gohan wasn't. I, they, I feel like they hold, bro. After the Cell Saga, bro, they fucking hold the fuck out of Gohan, bro. They hold him, like they, they, they disrespected him. But then he was kind of cold during the whole like Super Boo John. How like he came back as like ultimate Gohan type shit for a little bit, but then he got he got too carried away. But they they hold the fuck out of Gohan. He had potential. The first I don't know how to pronounce his name. the fucking first Super Saiyan two was Gohan was fuck he was a t like and you gonna make this man not have no potential? I'm just gonna call him Weak. Jizz. So just as Gohan is about to get blasted by Jizz, here comes Freeza. Freeza came down from the heavens above so angelic that I really felt like he was gonna be Gohan's savior. Fact. Until he said, fuck that nigga, you on your own. Now this part didn't really make me mad because I felt like it was Gohan's fight to begin with. Yeah. But then just as Jizz is about to release his final load, his final Jizz. attack on Gohan, 
Frieza intervenes. So then Frieza steps in and basically says, my bad nigga, what you thought I wasn't here or something? Ain't no one-on-ones around here, partner. So Frieza steps in and dispatches of Jizz faster than I did when I first learned how to beat off. Bro. Bro, what's up with this man, bro? That's why I fucking love this dude, bro. He he says shit that, like, not a lot of YouTubers are gonna, are gonna say, bro. Like, that's why I could, I could respect him. I kind of fall under that same, like, category. I'm not gonna say as, like, with the comedic, like, timing. Because they say this shit, like, nothing. It would take me, like, five years to even think of that joke that he just said about, like, how Frieza just disposed that jizz bull faster than him beating, like, yo, like, how the fuck, bro? <coughs> What a time to be alive, people. And then here comes this bitch-ass nigga Frost again. Well, Frost is really starting to piss me off at this point. I fucking hate it, Frost. I understand the amount of hatred that I have for this guy. And I almost shared that same hatred for Freezer uh -huh. until Freezer finally proved that he's a real nigga. The whole Facts. time Gohan and Freezer was fighting, I was sitting here thinking, what the hell does Frost think that he's going to do with this little-ass blast against Freezer? Freezer is arguably one of the strongest fighters in the Tournament of Power. And Frost expected that little-ass blast on his finger to do something? My nigga, you better all try to phone home with E.T. than trying to kill Freezer with that bullshit. Now, with all of us knowing Freezer. He ain't wrong. You better fucking... You definitely, bro. Frieza is... He's literally Frieza. He's just a weaker version somewhat. I guess, because I don't... They kind of showed off Golden Frieza before Golden Frost. So I feel like... I, yeah, I guess Frieza... Well, Frost is like the... I don't know, like, little brother somewhat to Frieza, but not really, like, related, I guess. I don't know. Frieza, we should have known damn well he wasn't going to let Frost get away with acting like he could just kill him. But when he knocked his ass smooth off of that stage, though, oh, my God, that was my second favorite moment in the whole Facts. episode. My most favorite moment was watching this whole ass nigga get erased right on the spot for trying to attack Frieza outside the arena. And while all of this is going on, Goku is still over here fighting Ruby Ann. Nigga, you uh, ain't tell me you can't get this fat-ass pill break, don't bitch the fuck out of here. Shit. Honestly, that's not even the fight that I'm worried about. Oh, shit. We are in the final bouts of the Tournament of Power. Oh my what? The Golden Freeze has made his appearance. Aw oh, shit. The long-awaited fight between Goku and Jiren will happen. Damn! Who will win? Universe 7. We know, but... Who will be Universe 11 Jiren? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, I was, I'm not going to say I was lacking on making these, like, um, recording these episodes. Kind of like in the beginning, like he was saying, I, I kind of been busy, let alone I'm still sick somewhat. So I'm trying to get over this while still trying to keep up energy and, like, at least try to make my videos entertaining somewhat. <laughs> I'm keeping it on it. <coughs> I have a very, like, bland personality when I'm, uh... I guess sick somewhat I don't really like to do shit but obviously we're gonna be pre-recording so get used to this fucking white t-shirt and this motherfucking thermal on my arm get used to that shit cuz I'm about to go hard on these pre-records I'll see y'all tomorrow I'm out